was a three-foot grasshopper caught in Montana. This is all things creepy, let's begin. So I've seen this image crop up on the internet from time to time, so I decided to do some digging to see just how authentic it really is. What we see is a man in fairly regular attire holding up a locust, grasshopper, cricket, an insect of that variety, and in his other hand, a gun. Of course, implying that he hunted and killed this creature. Trying to date the photo, we notice what he's wearing, we notice the fact that it is black and white, very aged. This probably wasn't really that close to the transition to colour, so I'd place it at about 1930s. Of course, grasshoppers, crickets, no animal in that family of insects gets this big. I mean, three foot, even back in the day in the Carboniferous period when insects did indeed get very large, they never really got quite to this size. Not far off, but back then there was a surplus of oxygen. You see, insects require a very large amount of oxygen to do the things that they do. That's why, at the moment, with very little oxygen in our atmosphere, they are restricted to a very small size. That's why we don't see gigantic insects all the time like we do with elephants, mammals. So the physics of this creature are already pretty much impossible. In order to survive in this oxygen-restricted environment that we have in the modern day, the insect would have to drastically change its physiology, which I suppose isn't impossible, it's just very unlikely. So after some digging into archives, I found that this image was actually used on postcards quite a while ago in the 1930s. So that in and of itself is pretty interesting because I expected it to be maybe a Photoshop job but a more recent one. But allegedly this image was around way before Photoshop was a thing. So it's my understanding that doctoring photos back then was difficult but not impossible and of course if someone sold many of these as postcards they obviously made a decent amount of profit so it was worthwhile investing all that time into it and we know for a fact that doctoring photographs back then was indeed possible due to communism in communism a lot of the photos were doctored people were edited out of photos so they could do things like that back then so that's what i believe this is a very early primitive doctoring of a photo from all the way back then when Photoshop didn't even exist. I can only imagine what people must have thought back in the day. They probably thought that this was genuinely real and went out looking for giant grasshoppers of their own. Do you agree? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video if you did, share it with a friend and of course if you haven't already subscribed for more creepy content.